followed the fortunes of Offaly's Johnny Pilkington as he made his preparations to try and topple Cork and help his county into another All-Ireland final. It's a self-belief and, and the game isn't over, as I say, until the final whistle and if you're in shouting distance, anything can happen. Preparation gone as well as could be expected um, over the last fortnight or that since the Derry game. We we had to pick it up and then training, we feel training has picked up an awful lot uh, in the last fortnight, so we're confident at, at this stage. When we were trailed away, we, we performed against Wexford and, and then totally disappointed and, and uh, after a Kilkenny hammering that we got. And Derry was a mixed feeling, one of relief and one of very disappointment, big disappointment the way, um, the way we played. Um, so we've had to re rejig our team and we'd probably be more confident if we were more settled going into it so we don't really know what to expect on, on Sunday with this team. Again, there's 70 minutes, uh, the way Offaly are going to approach it, the way we're going into this game is that it's 70 minutes from an All-Ireland. I haven't felt this way about a game in, in a long while. It's um, a real kind of maybe David Goliath kind of a challenge. Cork are there, as, as I would say, we were a total underdog. It's great, it'd be great to knock them off the pedestal, and, and it's a big challenge. And uh, all I want really on, on Sunday is that Offaly play their best and, and that all the players pull in, put in the 100% effort, and things go well for them. And if that, like me and Cork are going to know that they're either in an All Ireland final or they're but. Johnny Dooley's chasing it after it. Pilkington's there as well. Here comes Johnny Pilkington. First point of the match for Lovely. A great mark to Johnny Pilkington from Burr. <laughs> Difficult one for Johnny Pilkington to take, but he did well to contain it. Get it sit in on his left-hand side, and he's put it over the bar. And that's a magnificent point. I know you can see it yourself, but that is a magnificent point. Going backwards off his left hand. That's, that's why he's such a special player. Going forward once again, out to Pilkington, on for Johnny Dooley, they should take a point here, and they do. The whistle, there is going for the match is over, and the first of the Guinness semi-finals in Hurling, won by the 98 champions, Offaly. To pull out many shots in Cobra, this has to go down as one of the greatest. This, uh... It's, it's just unnatural, you know. I, I know we put up a good show, but I have to probably be honest and say, you know, I didn't think we'd play like that. Ah, Jesus, lads out there are just fabulous. Second half, I, I don't know where Keenan and the boys got their energy from in the second half, but it was great. But it's a sad day too, because just before the match, Pat Cleary's father passed away, God be with him. So, I mean, it's amidst the celebrations. I, I bear my commiseration and bereavement to, Represent his family, but besides that, it's been absolutely brilliant. The Cork started great, and we came back, and we're only two points down at half time. But I don't know where lads get the energy, but I mean, the footballers done it against me this year. We're after doing it here again. Ah, it's, it's great, you know. Well, the people had you written off, and some reply. Yeah, some reply, but in all fairness to the people and the media, I mean, what else could they do? Why, well, you know? We were brutal against Kenny to hammer us and to come out against the All-Ireland champions. We're a different team, you might say, I don't know what we've done, but it's great to be in an All-Ireland. We were only 70 minutes away from it. We kept telling everybody, trying to convince ourselves, but more training. Yes, and the Sunday game sympathies to Pat Cleary and to his family on their sad loss today. Well, now, this afternoon's...